I will tell you a quick story. Um, and I'm going to change the boy's name to respect his privacy. But um, uh, a boy, Ahmad, uh, age nine. And um, it was a couple of days after the initial um, tremors. And our field staff was working with him and, and asked him a question. Um, how are you, um, you know, how are you doing? Um, and there were still aftershocks. There were still tremors. He had lost a brother. Uh, he had lost his parents. And he said, uh, and he hadn't eaten um, in 48 hours. He, um, he basically said, uh, uh, I'm too sad uh, to be afraid. I'm too sad to be hungry. And, uh, you know, as a dad, I'm like, uh, you know, that is, that is such a tragic state for any human to experience, um, but especially a child. And, um, you know, so it's stories like that, um, that, re that really hit home because children are the most vulnerable. They're the first that are impacted by a disaster. And to know that um, mental health as well as physical health is so important.